Okay, uh, number five here. So it says the 20th term of the geometric sequence of a geometric sequence is this. So that's T of 20 is 5, 2, 4, 2, 8, 8. Okay? The 14th term is, so T of 14, 81, 92. Okay? So from this, we could actually get R pretty easily. How? Because here's, here's the 14th term. Okay, there's the 14th term. We've got 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 is this big number, right? So if I look at this, 8, 1, 92. So how, how many times do I have to multiply r by to get this one? Well, r times 1, or, uh, and then times r, times r, times r, times r, times r. Times r. So that's 81, 92 times r to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 equals 52, 4, 2, 88. Then you can solve for r there. All right, so that means that we can do some division here, 81, 92. 81, 92. Um, Divide by both sides, 92. Then what will we get? We will get, uh, let's, I'm doing five right now, guys, sorry. So let's clear this. So five, two, four, two, eight, eight, divided by eight, one, nine, two. Okay, gives us 64, so that means that R to the 6 equals 64. So what to the power of 6 gives us 64? Well, in order to solve for r, we take the 6th root of 64. So I take the 6th root of 64. So then you can find r. Now how do you do that in your calculator? Your calculators will be uh, a little bit different, probably. Um, but somewhere you want to do, I think I have to do 6, and then I have to hit math, and then this right here function 5 of 64. Now, there is other ways you could do it, yeah, but r is 2. So 2 to the power of 6 is 64. Okay? So r is 2. So what's the 20th term? Well, if you look at your geometric sequence now, let's see, you, you could find, or sorry, what's the third term? Sorry, the third term. What you could do is you could um, work backwards here, like the R is 2, right? So T1 to the power uh, times R to the power of 14th term minus 1. So remember our, our formulas? So what is that? T of N equals T of 1 R to the N minus 1. That's your geometric sequence formula, correct? So then um, you have the 14th term is 8192. T1, you don't know what that is. You could solve for T1 here. This is 2 to the power of 14 minus 1. So if you solve for T1, then you times R and times R again, you get the third term. Okay. Now, 2 to the power of 13 just equals 8192. Okay. Okay. So T1 could be could be one. Now, fourteenth term. Wait, are you sure about that? Because T. Oh yeah, T1 is one. So then times two times two. So four. Now, here's the other side of it, guys. Great Levens, listen. Um, could this possibly? So if it's four, we're looking like it's going to be four because T1 is one. So T2 is 2, T3 is 4. Now, could this be positive 4 or negative 4? So this is the 14th term. R could be actually 2, but could it be negative 2? So if this was positive, if it was negative 2, this would be negative. This one would be positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. So do you see how R could be plus or minus 2, actually? So that's why that this answer looks like C would be your correct answer. Because if R was negative 2, these two values that were given would both be positive. And if it was positive 2, these two values given would still both be positive. So that's why it's not 4 only. I think it should be C here then. You're welcome. 
You still don't get that? I could talk to you again. Or you could just like go back to the beginning of the video and watch it over and over and over and over. That means the answer. So it could be.